In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install ROS2 Foxy Fitzroy on Ubuntu 20.04. And we will also see how to set it up so you can use it directly on your environment. So first you can open a terminal and here I've opened also a web browser. You can simply type install ROS Foxy or ROS2 Foxy. This will be the same. And you will find this link here on index.ros.org. So you can click on that link, scroll a little bit. And here you see the instructions to install ROS2 Foxy. So you can choose binary packages, building from source, etc. So you are going to choose the binary packages and inside that the Linux with Ubuntu and Debian packages. Okay, and here are the instructions that you will need to follow. So first of all, you need to set the locale. So you can simply type locale here on the terminal. And as you can see, I have UTF-8. So this is correct. If you don't have this, then you will need to execute those instructions here. So you can put the password. Okay, so already installed for me. This will take a little bit more time for you. And then do this command. So all the commands one by one. And then export UTF-8. And then with locale, you should have this result. So that was already correct for me. After this, you can set up the sources. Why? Because the ROS2 is not directly available with Studio APT install. You need first to add some sources so you can find it. So I'm going to run the first command. Okay, then this command and then the third one here. So one by one. And now the sources are set up. You can do sudo apt update. Okay, this will find where to download ROS2. And now you can install the packages for the ROS2 installation. So you have two options here. You have the desktop installation and the ROS base installation. What is the difference? ROS base basically will only contain the bare bones so the core features and the core packages to run a ROS2 application and that's it. No graphical tool, no debugging tool, just the core features. So this can be a good option if you want to have the minimal installation or for example if you run a headless Raspberry Pi where you don't care to have graphical tools. And the desktop version will contain the bare bones plus many debugging tools, many visualization tools like RVs, and then some demos, tutorials, etc. So here on the desktop, we are going to use this command to install ROS Foxy Desktop. So you can use that command here. For me, it's already installed, but for you, you will see many packages. You can see several hundred packages to install. So you press yes, and then you have to wait a few minutes, maybe more, depending on your internet connection speed, of course, and the performance of your computer. Okay, so you wait, and once this is done, well, congratulations, you have just installed ROS2 on your computer, that's it. But now, if you want to be able to use ROS2, so let's open a new terminal, okay? I open a new terminal, and I try to run ROS2 run, for example, and I have ROS2 command not found, but ROS2 is installed. What we need to do is to source that script here in slash opt slash ROS slash foxy. So the script is setup.bash. So we need to source that script so we can use ROS2. And you can see now, so we have a different message. This is the usage message, but which means that ROS2 command has been found, okay? And if I open yet a new Terminal, I also need to source this line if I want to be able to use ROS2. So this can be quite annoying, okay, if you have to source ROS2 every time you need to open a new terminal or session. So what we are going to do is to add this line into your bash RC. So you can use jedit 
as a text editor and the bash rc can be found here okay in your home directory and dot bash rc so you press enter and this is the bash rc so you can go at the end of the file at the very end and we are going to add this line here and save the file and close the file so basically what it will do, the bash rc will be executed every time you open a new terminal. So every time you open a terminal, this line will also be executed. So I'm going to close all terminals. And now if I do ROS2 run, it works because this has been executed. All right, so now ROS2 is installed and you can use it. What we can do to improve things a little bit is to install the arg complete for the command line tool. So for example, for ROS1, this will be very convenient to have the auto completion for those tools. So let's install the Python 3 R complete module here. Okay, so for me it's already installed. All right, this is the end of this tutorial. If you liked the video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn ROS2 in an efficient way, step by step, by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.